A big update for the DJI Air 3. Hi and welcome back. Last night I downloaded these updates, which includes aircraft firmware version 01.00.0600, remote controller firmware version 02.00.000, and the fly app version 1.12.0. And what's new did you ask? You can take five instead of three 48 megapixel photos when using the AEB or burst shooting modes. The big updates are the AR home point, the AR return to home route, and the AR aircraft shadow. The big letdown here is they didn't give us vision assist. They also added support for manually setting the maximum horizontal speed in normal mode and added support for the DJI goggles and RC motion too. Now that the fog is finally lifted, it's time to get this drone up in the air and see how these updates work. All right, we're ready to take off here. Get my screen shot going here. I have my lance approval. Start recording here. Drone is out on the pad, permitted to take off. Let's spool them up, I agree. And up we go. I'm Home just gonna take updated. it. I'm just gonna take it up a little bit and make sure all my controls work with this all this new updates. Back forward. Up, down. Everything seems to be working just fine. So the drone is flying just fine. Confirm that. All right, there is one other setting in here I'm gonna go into, and that is under controls. Down here, you now have AR settings. And you can go in there and turn them all off or turn them all on. So I'm gonna turn them all off and on just to see, because I'm not seeing this home point thing that they're talking about. Oh yeah, there it is, it's down here on the bottom of the screen. Sorry, okay, so if I turn around, see that? See the H? Climbing up the right there, right here. Now it should go right, there's home. Okay, there's, that's the new feature. So your home point is pinned or it's got an icon now and it just follows. So if I go this way, well, let's, let's try this. Instead, let's go over the top of it and see what it does. It should, should go behind us now. I don't see it behind me. There it is. Okay. Now we'll turn around again. That's kind of nice. My, my question will be now, is if I change my home point, what does that do? And I'm gonna do that here and let's see what it does. Let's see what it does. Let's go into safety. Let's go to update home point and go okay. And let's home see. Home point updated. Now, if I go in here, where's it saying my controller is? Okay, it's still got my home point right there. My controller's right here. Right where it says it's supposed to be. As you can see in this screen, you can see the drone shadow. Now I'm gonna update my, I'm gonna come down a little bit, I think. Okay. Yeah, there's obstacles here. There's my vehicles right here. Okay, we're gonna go over just a little bit. It's windy out today, so. I'm gonna go back just a hair. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. 
Okay, we're gonna, we're just gonna land it, I think. Go back just a Landing. little bit. Let's see how close I am. I'm good. Home point updated. Okay, it's updated. All right, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go up and out. Now we know that the home point thing works. The next one to try will be the will be the uh, route. Let's see what that looks like. So if I hit the return to home, now yeah, I usually don't do that, but return to home. Let's see if it's yep. Yeah, there it is. Gives you that nice little green. Let's see what it does. We'll let it return to home and see what it does. My return to home appears to be off a little bit, but we'll see. It would really been nice if they would have included that vision assist thing in here. There it is. Now, if I... Landing. Okay. Let's see how good it does. All right, it pulled it right over there, so. Yeah, it's landing right. The wind's playing with it, that's for darn sure. And I'm gonna cancel that, I'm gonna go out again. Now let's see, it says it'll take five photos. Let's stop recording. Let's go here and let's go into photos. And I can't tell. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, there it is. You can change it to five now. So let's try that. Let's just go over this way a little bit. There. Okay. So it takes five 48 megapixels, and they're fast too. It seems to be faster than it was. Let's bounce this up to 3x. Let's go up a little bit. And we're gonna go here. And there's telephoto 3X, or 3X photos, five of them, right? Okay. And then burst, you can also do burst. Let's return to home. Re return to home. Okay, it does it there too. I put the camera back to 1X. Okay. Let's see what return to home does this time. Return to home. Okay, it's showing the green line on here. It's also showing the deal down here. And she's coming straight in at us. So let's see how she lands. I think I'm done. That's enough of the testing. Everything seems to be working just fine. Everything seemed to work just fine. The AEB mode, uh, five shots now in instead of just three, that works good. Um, the return to home stuff is neat. I don't know if a guy needs it. All the the home point pin, that's that's a nice feature. Uh, the shadow, that's nice too. But that flying in that tube when you land, I don't. Know, I guess that's neat. But I don't. I don't know that you really need it or not. But it's neat, nevertheless. So, and then everything else with the drone seemed to work just fine. It flew fine. Uh, I tried out several different things and everything seemed to work just fine on it. So, anyway, we should be good. This update seems to be a winner. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, notification, and share button. And leave me a comment if you like. And as always, be safe, fly safe, and have a great day. Am I still recording? I am. Okay, that's good. You didn't make it this time there, girl. How come?